Hi, I'm Shoestring Jane and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things thrifty and frugal. And this week I'm going to end the old year and kickstart the new by making sure we use everything up. So being frugal is all about not wasting food. So I have been through everything and worked out what we had. So I made a little list as I went along, which is here. Um, looked at the fresh stuff, looked at stuff that was cooked in the fridge. So fresh stuff, we had um, potatoes, but not that many. Um, some baguettes, those kind of par-bake ones. Um, some Stilton, which I bought for Christmas, and we've hardly eaten any of that. Bacon, bits and pieces of bacon. Um, I had some pastry, salady stuff. Um, cream, lots of different cream, including some vegan creams and a Bailey's cream. So Bailey's cream is not going to be easy to incorporate into savoury dishes, obviously. So we're just going to eat that up with some mince pies, I think, and make sure we do. Um, we've got some pot of hummus that needs eating. That'll probably be on the salads. Some cooked beetroot, again, on salads. A few little parsnips and carrots, which will, will be fine. That will last a while, I think. I've got one red pepper, which I will need to use in something. Loads of chocolate, loads of crisps, stuff like that. I've got some turkey bones, but I've put them in the freezer, so I don't necessarily have to rush to use those this week. We've got leftover cooked sprouts, um, which will get used um, in tonight's dinner, and some roasted veg, the same. We've also got some wine, so I could do maybe something with that as well. So I'm going to show you my meal plan to start with. Then I'm going to do a shop, so I'll show you that my haul, and we'll go from there. So this is this week's meal plan. I've gone through all of the stores, the fridge, freezer, mainly looking at things that need eating quickly, so the fridge stuff, um, and incorporated them into this week's meal plan. So actually starts on Tuesday um, with uh, Frugal Queen in France. I watched her do cheese, bacon and potato casserole. Um, we've got cream, we've got bacon, we've got plenty of different cheeses, and I thought I would have a go at doing that recipe and use some of those things up. So that's the, the dinner. So that's Tuesday is going to be our starting point. Um, we've got some, I bought some pastry because I just thought there might be some leftover meat or something that I could use up um, within sort of some sort of pie or platter, but there isn't any leftover. So tuna plat's what it's going to be for dinner on Wednesday. Thursday, I'm just doing a cheese omelette still look quite a lot of cheeses uh, with salad because we do have salad and going to have some salad the day before and pickles because they things that need are in the fridge that are open that need eating um friday the salmon and i, I will show you the salmon when i do my haul um salmon with homemade chips and i'm going to make a winter carrot salad i may use some green salad as well if there's still some left um Saturday is going to be chicken casserole and rice. Well, it was going to be chicken casserole and rice. I've, I've amended that. You'll see again when you see what I actually went and bought from the shops. Sunday, I'm going to do tuna penne and whatever veg I can find in the freezer. And then back to next Monday, it will be it'll just be a veggie risotto, which will basically just use up bits and pieces of veg before I go shopping again. Um, breakfast, as you can see, breakfast and lunch is really kind of easy things, things like muesli and yogurt. I bought some yogurt today. Cereal and fruit, toast and jam. Just your book standard things for, for breakfast, porridge. New Year's Day, we'll probably have scrambled eggs or maybe even some bacon if there's some left over. Um, lunches tend to be things like you know, just rolls, sardines on toast, sandwiches, nothing special, you know, easy stuff. I do have some Stilton to use up though, so I've bought some broccoli today and I'm going to do broccoli and Stilton soup with some baguettes, which will last us a couple of days, uh, maybe some eggs on toast, those kind of things, that easy stuff. So I've been shopping. I had intended to go to Lidl, but my daughter rang me up and said, you've got to go into Asda. They've got fantastic reductions. I've just got this massive piece of fish, really, really juiced, and they've got lots of other reductions. So I thought, well, I don't usually go in Asda. I'm not a big fan of Asda, to be honest, but I thought, well, why not? I guess maybe get some things for the freezer and I can look for a kettle because they sell electricals in there and our kettle has just died completely so I needed to get a new kettle so I thought we'd go in there so what I spent 
was altogether I spent £59 and three pence. Don't know if you can see that. However, I'm taking off £20 for the kettle um, and £3 for something for my daughter. So altogether in the end it came to £36 and three pence. So £36 for the week and loads ahead because I've got some things for the freezer. This was a kettle so I was quite pleased with that. I managed to get a nice green one. The kitchen is green and it has two year warranty. I wanted to get one with a three year warranty but they didn't have any so I just want to make it last. The one we've got it does limp along so it just kind of works and then you have to press it and press it and press it and it doesn't work and it's all furred up and it's just not very reliable so it's about to die so I thought I need a kettle <laughs> so I went and got one so while I was in there let me show you first of all my catch of the day this is a really good buy so this started life at £18.35 then it went down to £11.56 and today I got it for £3.88 <laughs> it's massive isn't it that is huge a whole salmon I mean I did nearly didn't get it because um my daughter's to say had my oldest daughter had said I should have got you one I should have got you one mum because she'd picked herself one up and a couple of other things and when I got there there was nothing obviously the shelves had just bare people pick things like that up very quickly don't they? they're not going to hang about however there was a lady with a trolley and she'd clearly just filled it up with all of the fish and I think she saw me looking and said would you like this one so that was really kind of her because she could have she was obviously taking them home for her freezer and she gave me one so but she still had three in there so she had she had plenty stocked up but that was I thought that was really nice of her so she actually gave me one and I also picked this up it's very rustly which is annoying I don't normally buy chicken in a bag because I like it to go crispy um so I should probably take the bag off but this chicken was reduced from, I don't think it was originally, it was 274 and then it was 178 but I suspect it was more expensive than 274 to start with, it's got no price on it. But anyway, that's, I'll change my meal plan slightly, I'll show you my meal plan, but I'll change it slightly because I was going to do a chicken casserole one day and instead we will have a roast chicken and use that and keep the leftovers. So I'll move that because it's really rustly, that plastic, and I will move my enormous fish as well. Archie's been very interested in this enormous fish. So the other thing I bought while in the way of meat while I was in there, and these are for Archie because you will know if you watch regularly, that's what he eats with his kibble, chopped up chicken. Um, and some ham and that was £2.07 for, I bought two of these, £2.07 for, how many kilograms are they? Oh, okay. a kilogram, 1.1 kilogram. Um, now these are kind of rustly and annoying but actually there's a lot less plastic on these and I actually boast about that. There's no plastic tray, there's just this plastic film which I think will probably go into the soft recycling that a lot of them yes recycled bags at larger supermarkets so I collect that up so I'll have to read it obviously first so anyway that's mostly most of the meat um, another reduction I managed to get rolls were on my list this week for lunches so these are going in the freezer they're only a little reduction they were 85 pence and they were reduced to 42 pence I got two packs of those because they're handy for lunches one thing I didn't save money on was my lacto-free milk um, they didn't, they normally have the Asda one, it's a pound. They didn't have any left at all. So the only lacto free milk they had, and I had to buy some because we didn't have any, was organic lacto free, the actual branded stuff. And it was 165. So I only bought two because that is literally twice the price. It's twice what I usually pay in Lidl or Aldi. So I wasn't going to buy too much. I'll have to try and pop in there. I don't like to go shopping too often because it's, when you go shopping often, it's easy to get drawn into buying other things, isn't it, that you don't necessarily need. So I don't really like, I like to get it all done in one go. Um, my daughter's still here and she guzzles this stuff. I don't like it myself, but I keep it in the cupboard for her. Some apple and blackcurrant squash, that was 99p. Um, this is probably the cheapest broccoli I've seen for a while. It's only a small broccoli head, but that was a uh, 50p. That's for my soup that I'm going to be making. And 
Oh, I do have some sardines in my stores. I don't have any just on the shelf, but I like to have these. So sardines on toast I'm going to have this week for one lunch. And they are 40 pence each, which actually is slightly dearer than Lidl. I don't know if they've gone up. Um, and they were cheaper than Esther, but it's just only slightly. So if I bring the whole bag up, you won't have to listen to me rummaging. I won't keep disappearing. I prefer rice noodles to egg noodles, and we've run out. So I'm a it's not on my meal plan for anything this week. I thought I would get some. That was 99 pence. I bought some medium free range eggs for 168. Some mushrooms for 118. They didn't don't do the big packs. They used to do big family packs in Asda, but I think that is their cheapest option now. Um, Cooktown, this is for Archie. I'll put some of it in the freezer because it's really quite a big pack. This is just to tempt him to eat his dinner because he's fussy, what's it? That's £1.59. I wouldn't actually want to eat that. And again, for him, we were running out of his chews and part of his bedtime routine is to give him a couple of these chews and he settles down and goes to sleep. So these should have been £2 each, which is much more expensive than you usually pay, but you could get two for £3.40. So I picked two up. I'm sure he appreciates it. Bananas are something that I'm watching because they seem to be going up and down like mad. I only bought four bananas. The girls are going home now, so it'll only be me and Justin, and we don't eat masses of them. We chop them up on our cereal most of the time. And I got four for 46 pence, so that's just over the um, the 10p, which is what I was paying in the summer. And then they went right up again, and they were about 15p, I think, in a pre previous haul from Lidl. Um, I bought a big slab of cheddar. We do have some other cheeses, up, which I am planning to cook with this week, but we don't actually have all that much just plain cheddar. That was £3.70 for that big slab. I bought some salted butter, the cheapest Asda salted butter, and that's one forty-five. And then for cooking, I tend to use this kind of sunflower spread. It is much, much cheaper than butter. I don't like it on my toast or my sandwiches or anything and it's very processed and it's in plastic so it's not my favorite but for cooking it's good just to have that at the back of the fridge or if you need something you know really softened butter and you don't actually have any softened butter for baking that's always going to be soft and that was 79p so as i say very much cheaper than the the actual salted butter i don't um normally buy lactose free yogurt because Greek yogurt, if you buy the proper Greek strange yogurt, it's got very little lactose in it, and that's what I tend to buy. Um, but if I'm in Asda, I will get their lactose free yogurt. It's only a pound and it's really good. It's just just like proper yogurt. Proper Greek yogurt. I bought an Oti barista Oti thing. I like this in my coffee. I actually prefer this to milk now. Um, that was £1.20, so it wasn't too bad, cheaper than Oatly anyway. Um, these were reduced as well. I did look at the reductions on the veggie shelf, and these were the only thing that didn't look too beyond salvation. So I've got two spring cabbages for 45p. They were reduced from 70, so they weren't too much to start with, but um, we do like, we like cabbage. And if I don't eat all of that, I will chop that up and freeze it. And finally... I think that's fine, eh? Just some plain potatoes. We do have some. These were 91p. We do have some left over, but we're not good. They're not going to last the week. And as I said, I don't like keep going in and it just tempts me to buy more stuff. So I want to try and get as much as I can. And mostly this week, I am going to be eating leftovers, as I've already said. So that was my haul from Asda. That's an unusual thing for me. Don't like Asda, as I say, but it was not too bad today. And that fish is a brilliant bargain. I'm going to chop that up now with my girls keep saying my knives are totally inadequate so I shall chop that up and have fun doing it with my not sharp enough knives and freeze it into portions so and that's going to last ages I mean we like salmon there it's on the meal plan this week I probably could have spent that kind of price three pounds 88 on just a couple of pieces of salmon so that's a really good bargain so that's it for now I thought I would just show you my progress my knife isn't that bad but it's not exactly professional. <laughs> I'm managing to get it into steaks. I'm going to make some fish stock with the head and any other bits. So yeah, I'm doing all right. I think I'll keep the sort of tail bit from about here as one sort of portion. Um, yeah, but it's good. My hands are getting so oily. It's really, really hard. It's really hard to actually do it and get it in the bags, but I'm getting there, getting there. So that's our food plans for the week.
I am really pleased that I didn't overbuy at Christmas. We didn't have a ton of leftover produce and meat and that kind of thing because we planned it fairly well for once, which is good. It's so easy to just buy endless stuff at Christmas and think it's fine, we'll eat it after Christmas. And then that doesn't happen. It ends up getting wasted unless you're very organised. So I'm glad I didn't really overdo it. Um, I have finished my second hand year now, so those of you who watch regularly will know that I've been on a completely second hand year for 2021. And I know we're not quite at New Year now yet, but uh, there were some things I needed to buy in the sale, so I did start early. I bought, well, I haven't started early actually, but I might start early. I had to buy the kettle. I think a kettle I would have been very lucky to get second hand, so it's been limping along for a while. Um, I did have to buy the new kettle, and it's not quite the end of the year, so. Um, I usually do a no spend January so every year I just don't buy anything except bare essentials for January and it helps you to recover from Christmas because of all the overspending that tends to happen before Christmas and maybe you've got debts that kind of thing and it's a good way to try and you know rebalance your finances. Um, I'm not doing that this year the reason I've decided not to do it is because I have spent 2021 buying only second hand, there are a few things that I just haven't been able to find that would have been second hand and that we really need now. So I'm going to buy a few bits, hopefully in the sales in January. Not very much, I'm not going crazy because I'm going to have a super frugal year. That's my plan for 2022 because we need to save up for certain things in our house. So. The kitchen is awful. It's been there since we arrived. It wasn't very well fitted. We can't afford to rip it out and start again, otherwise I happily would do that. So we're going to replace the kitchen cupboard doors and maybe look at the work surfaces. We're going to need, I think, we, we kind of budgeted it the other day. We're going to need about a thousand pounds to at least tart it up a bit and do a bit of budget DIY. So that's a plan for this year. I don't know when it will happen, so we're going to do some saving for it first. It may well be towards the end of the year. Um, we need a new stair carpet. Again, you know, it's not impossible to buy secondhand carpet, but I haven't seen anything. I did actually look on Marketplace for a while and see if there was something maybe we could get a fitter in to do replace the stair carpet. Didn't see anything. So I think a stair carpet and hall carpet for some point this year and also into the, new, into the uh, spare bedroom is essential it really is tatty the animals have not been good to it when Archie was a puppy he chewed the bottom stairs completely so uh, I did redecorate the hallway this year last year yeah this year still um, but didn't do the carpet on purpose because I was doing a second hand year but that's, that's going to happen this year and I'm going to do our little spare room I'm going to completely do a budget DIY transformation as I did in our bedroom um, it won't cost very much money, just a few hundred pounds, I should imagine. So that's also going to happen this year. So all of those things, that's, that is an expense. The reason we're doing it all this year is because we are thinking about moving in 2023. So we want to get the house in order so we get the best price for it. So watch this space to see lots of budget DIY during 2022. Lots of frugal food, and lots of other money saving ideas. Keep um, and I, maybe if you subscribe, that'll be fantastic. Hit the subscription box and also don't forget to hit your notifications bell. Then you can see when I've got something new published. So this ends the year, ends 2021. I won't be doing another video during 2021. The next time I'll see you, it will be during 2022 when I'll be talking about ways to restart and re-energize your finances. I'll see you then. Bye for now.